course, we have the sun over here and the moon over there. Right, so how are the lovely people in the south of South America supposed to see this full moon then? You see the problem here? Oops, sorry. Yeah, Dan is, of course, correct, but because I've been debunking flatties so much of late, the um, that's correct sound effect is not one I've got on my soundboard yet. Never really needed it. So, as Dan just pointed out, how can those observers that are outside the supposed circular lunar path ever see a full moon? Well, to try and test this, I took the fruit from a tree, a bunya nut tree. And like all things in Australia, these things will kill you. This is just a fruit, mind you. At two or more kilograms, and falling from a height of 20 meters or more, if one of these things lands on your head, you're dead. So I tied one of these bunya nuts to a string and tied it to my hill's hoist and made myself a bunya nut moon, craters included. Then I put my wobbly torch, thanks Dim Dim, you clown, and I put the wobbly torch in the peg basket and shined that straight at the moon. Well, as it circles for the whole day, what do we see? Well, there were two things that I noticed. One, when the camera is lower than the sun and moon plane, you never get to see a new moon. Two, the camera, the sun and the moon all need to be coplanar before you can see an eclipse. And three, you see the varying moon phases all within a single 24 hour period, i.e. one rotation of the hill's hoist, I mean one day. And four, the angular size of the moon is varying too. And five, and yes, I know I'm getting increasingly inaccurate with my count of two here. And five, you notice that the bottom of the moon is always pointing down is always pointing down. There is no field rotation of the bunya nut, I mean moon. And that's going to be the main focus of my video today. You know, a month ago when we still had a that guy, I shot a few images with my big red um, exercise ball. And that was just for this very thing, just so that I can show what happens when you roll a camera along the longitude line of a ball, you actually end up with this thing called field rotation. So the moon appears to be rotated at different latitudes. Let's go and have some fun with this. Now, a while back, Wolfie was flying back across the North Pacific and he spotted the moon setting in front of him. Who can forget this image? Well, it sent many flatties into a tailspin. When he took the photo, he emailed me a copyright from his plane. He said, man, this is going to go well. And he was right. So much globe proof just in one image. Well, Wolfie was about 35 degrees north and I'm 27 degrees south. It's pretty easy to see that there is close to 60 degrees field rotation between these two observations of the same moon. From Tommy's moon project, I managed to locate about 20 images of the moon all taken on the same day, but at different times, different azimuth angles, different elevations. So it's gonna be rather tricky to tease out of that lot some field rotation. So what I propose doing is a quick moon field rotation observation experiment. So how about on the 27th or the 28th, either will do, if we all take a picture of the moon when it's close to the western horizon, I think that will make quite a good set of observations. On the 27th it should be setting around 8.30pm, so snap a shot of it just before that. So get it just above something horizontal, beside something vertical, or at least just keep the bottom of the frame horizontal. That would be great. And then I've set up a web page for the data entry, because I'm lazy. And just enter the lat and the time and the date, and upload the image. And Google Forms is fantastic, it'll just populate a Google Sheet for me and give me the images, and then we can go and do some magic with that. I'm thinking it's going to be rather interesting. Okay guys, if you like what I've done here, smash that like button because we know that really annoys the flatties. And if you want to get notification as soon as the um, data for this has been analysed and a nice report produced, hit the uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys.